So today's topic is kind of a say a controversial topic. In today's video, I'm going to talk about iOS versus Android, which offers a better gaming experience. And in today's video, this is gonna be a completely different type of video where I'm gonna be comparing a lot of different different aspects of the mobile gaming for the iOS versus Android. And it's gonna be a completely different video for the expectation and as I told Ed and I'm going to tell you that this is not a topic where you should fight but if you are having a suggestion to tell me then let me know in the comment section down below. So hello there gamers uh, this is Captain Diaz you are watching Gaming Justified so let's get started. So before we go any further into the video Let's just talk about the mobile evolution, the mobile gaming evolution. We were into a time where mobile gaming wasn't like um, given a lot of respect for a lot of people and now it has been become a really really nice sector for esports and a lot of different different sectors. Basically mobile gaming was a really really kind of a real where a pixelated game such as casual sender or stuff were only able to play on them well. Uh, there was a phone or the keypad and still on the smartphones where we became into the smartphone the processor went capable of a lot of things but by the time processors became capable and we have a really really big name game from the game loft tencent netist games and really really awesome industries and uh, kind of a say i respect those each and every gaming industry who have made a really high content graphic games of all the mobile devices and uh, it is really really awesome that they have made a really good game especially talking Genshin Impact the latest and the greatest high graphic sector game open world game which is currently one of my addiction right now I started playing this game for again third time and yeah I still love playing this game it was my personal aspect let me know which game will you play not the multiplayer one the campaign game of your phone let me know in the comment section down below and still if you have to talk about the multiplayer games there are some baby names such as pubg mobile call of duty mobile as well line multiplayer options and yeah the list goes on and on for the mobile factor so the first thing game availability personally speaking both the stores are having really really good good games on it and if you go into the past uh, there weren't a lot of games but most played games from my past if i have to say so then temple run candy crush subway self subway self i still play even the clash of planes and the clash royale both were uh, just a good game from the supercell and still they are making some good good games anyways if you have to talk about the play store play store was a kind of a say a open source and the app developing or you can say the game developing or you can say uploading the game on the play store was completely free that's the reason it got the boost and many people many companies adopted the android play store or you can say the android os so the play store become a genuine or you can say store to download the applications for a lot of people and that's the only reason play store were having a lot of games over the time app store still got the games but it wasn't having some big, not the big ones, the small games such as, I don't remember a lot of, but the Battle Ops was one of the games which I wasn't able to find out the Apple's App Store. Personally speaking, Apple got the Apple Arcade by the time and if you go into the past, Apple Arcade wasn't there, but now you can see Apple Arcade is there and which is a personal store where you have to get the subscription and uh, you can do a lot of gaming or you can say that Apple's own certified game so, and yeah many people hadn't shifted to the Apple Arcade by the time but still I kind of say many people will go into the Apple Arcade just to experience the gaming juice of the Apple Arcade personally speaking both the stores are designed perfectly on the gaming purposes and that all stuff but over this time Play Store is a good guy so this is not a video where I talk about the performance and that all stuff. But still, a quick note on it. Performance wise, bo both got a really really good competition on both the sectors. There are a tons of processor company who make the processors for the smartphones such as um, Exynos, the Snapdragon, MediaTek, Apple. Got the only one GPU for the iPhones which is the Apple's A series chipset. Currently, if you have to talk about the 
comparison if you have to do so then the 8 gen 1 is the latest for the android side while there is the apple's a15 chip a15 got the 5 nanometer and uh, what do you say 8 gen 1 got the 4 nanometer which depends on the both the sides but if you have to say so then the a15 becomes a lot optimized by the time and uh, or you can say the Apple's chipset becomes a lot easier for the companies to get to optimize and get the well catch up because there isn't a lot of to do and uh, there is only one chipset. 8 Gen 1 takes the time on the different different devices or the thermal center or stuff but the iPhone is only one there so it becomes for the easier for the companies who make the games it becomes easier to optimize the game on their chipset so yeah it's completely different thing on the basis of the development it depends on the mostly things on a quick note in between, personally speaking, I have tested by this video on the basis of the One UI the 3 version, not the 4 version, which is Android 11 based and the iOS 15 version. So yeah, don't just if you are looking for the judging things, then here's a quick note in between of that. So here's the thing: who provides the quality of the gaming? Personally speaking, iPhone provides the quality of the gaming. If you are the person who doesn't look after any type of game booster and that all stuff, then you can definitely go and do the iOS gaming on the iOS because the games get a really fast optimization over the iOS. Personally speaking, I have seen the optimization get really faster or the Genshin Impact, Call of Duty Mobile, BGM or you can say the PUBG Mobile got a really fast optimization. So yeah, it becomes easier for me to play the games and get the best experience out of it. While on the Android side, there is a complete vast area where you can get the Android devices from a lot of different different companies such as Samsung, Xiaomi, Realme, and the list goes on and on for the Samsung devices. So all the iPhones or you can say the iOS devices get a really fast optimization. So here's the iPhone get the chance. So here's the thing, what you should get. Personally speaking, you should, if you are a person who don't want to do a lot of huge gaming, then you can definitely go and grab an Android device. Just because games are mostly games are well optimized over if you are the in the old end games such as uh, Subway Surf, Temple Run, Late Ghost, etc. And if you are a person who wants to do a hardcore stuff and do a lot of things, then you can grab your flagship device, which is an iPhone. Well, there is also a flagship device from the Samsung, but it is depends on your necessity. Samsung is up to your needs and uh, iPhone is up to your needs. Basically, it also depends on your pocket, what's your budget. If you are into a low-end gaming or you can say a budgetified high-end gaming, then uh, processor or each and everything varies all that things. And if the processor is good, it is well optimized on the phone that you have to look after a lot of different different phone factors and do a lot of research before you buy any smartphone for the gaming purposes. Because if the processor is good, the game isn't optimized or you can't be taking the time. And if the company had added the limitations before the game get optimized, then yeah, it's completely like a different thing. So that's all for this today's video again this was a kind of a say a controversial topic but still i want to talk to you about this thing let me know your thoughts in the description down below not the description in the comment section down below by the way this was the captain the abyss we are watching gaming justified if you end up liking this video then share this video among your squad or each and every person who is into the gaming we are watching gaming justified i'll catch you in the next video Stay connected. Peace out.